are basically in the car right now and we are on our way to the new forest we are basically having a little staycation because i mean all of our royal abroad all of our abroad holidays have actually got cancelled this year but you know what we're still gonna get away so i thought you know what i'm still gonna bring you along we haven't been to the new forest together before have we we haven't apparently i have been when i was younger but i don't really remember it if i'm honest with you and um, so we are staying in like a lodge thing and um, i will show you obviously when we get there but i thought you know i'm gonna start it while we're in the car we've still got about an hour just under an hour until we'll up in the road we have still got about an hour until we do actually get there so i thought i might as well just show you we've got our little snacks we've got some little snacks on the go already and um, but yeah that's about it really so yeah i'll speak to you when we get there are they doing look at them are they donkey or horse they look sick though. Looking around the car. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> Should I open the window? Should I try, no, don't in case they... try and pet one? <laughs> you don't get this in London, that's all I'm saying. Oh my god, look at them. It's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Wants a bit of your car. You're right there, mate. Can I mail one? Don't. Oh. How close we are to them. He knows. He knows. That's pretty cool. That's well cool. So we have actually just arrived at the place that we are staying at, or at the kind of lodge thing that we are staying at as such. And yeah, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna quickly show you around really. And um, so this is basically where you come in here, it's just just the door ready but it's a bit chilly outside which is why we thought we'd come in here before we start showing you around so if i quickly show you it is chilly in here if i'm honest with you which is why james here is trying to figure out the boiler um, but anyway if you literally step in this is the lounge now i mean you may be thinking there's a lot of kind of seats over there and that is basically because we actually could only book a four bed or a four bedroom kind of place just because all of their smaller ones were actually sold out so we have actually got a four bed suite sleeps eight people um supposedly but i mean there's just the two of us no one else is here um it was the only one they had left and i mean like i already said in the car our holiday did actually get cancelled um so we've just decided to come away and i mean we'd rather pay a little bit extra for somewhere where we can actually stay than not come away at all if that makes sense so yeah this is basically where we stay in so this is kind of like the lounge bit as such we've put the little fire bit on just to try and get a little bit of warmth in here um there's a nice little mirror above it but yeah and apparently there's like some kind of um tv channels and things like that i don't really know how much of that we are actually um gonna be watching and then obviously if i take you around here so obviously this is the table and then we have actually got a nice big roomy kitchen and um, so god knows if we'll actually do any of oh, the taps on god knows if we'll actually um do any cooking or anything while we're here but i mean there is definitely the space to do it if we want to i mean james may be doing me a birthday breakfast because my birthday is actually tomorrow in case any of you didn't actually know when i am actually filming this so i mean he may cook me a nice bacon sandwich or something who knows he's like behind us giving a little smirk won't you mister yeah. but as you come through this way this door was actually shut when we come in but if you just open it up the first kind of bedroom it's just kind of like two little single ones obviously probably won't be in there if i'm honest with you but i thought i'd show you anyway and then as you come down there is again two more single beds here so i mean if there's a lot of you coming to stay here there's definitely plenty of room and then as you come in this way there's some like three little um toiletry bits um and a sink and then obviously there's a shower and a nice little toilet as well um so yeah it's quite quite spacious really for one of these type of um, places but obviously there is a nice mirror there as well and then as you come straight down we have actually had a quick nosy around so that's why like doors and stuff are open as well um, but there is actually just a double bed here and then behind there it's just like a little radiator and then as you come through there is again another full shower some more toiletry bits another mirror and another little toilet as well um 
God knows what's going to happen with this amount of toilets. But that is basically just a little update for you. And then as you come through to this one, this is the one that we think we're actually just going to stay in just because it looks like the most solid double bed. Because this one does look a little bit more like a put you up, if that makes sense. So, I mean, we are actually probably just going to stay in this one, if I'm honest with you. Um, so, there's a nice little double bed. Some wardrobes around this way. A few little hangers in there. An extra kind of quilt with a top. And then some kind of drawers at the bottom. And then there is another mirror just there. And then again, there is another ensuite bathroom, which again is really nice. Slightly bigger shower in this one and just more space in general. Um, but yeah, more free toiletries. And again, so that is basically what it looks like inside. And I don't really know if you have actually been able to see it or not, but if I just take you back out this way, it's changed my short up a little bit. I feel like that's probably what it's doing. It's still testing out a little bit. But if I just take you out of here, oh, it is locked try and unlock this there we go and then as you come out here there is actually just a nice little table and chair but on the kind of decking bit and then as you come around this way there is actually a hot tub which we're super super excited to start using and if i just quickly lift up i don't really know how heavy it is can you see nice little bubbles in there so hopefully i'm sure you'll see this at some point but yeah a nice little hot tub is under there so i mean yeah this is basically what is going to be happening. So, I mean, I'm not entirely sure if I told you, if I just shut the door quickly, it's a little bit nippy outside. So, I mean, yeah, that is basically everything, or where we are staying, basically. And um, so, yeah, I'll just carry on the vlog as normal. I mean, I'm not entirely sure um, what we'll do between now and when we go out for dinner tonight. We are actually going to a pub tonight. We have actually booked a little table um, just to go and have something to eat. But, I mean, we need to unload the car and sort everything out. I mean, yeah. I'll keep you updated as to what we decide to do really. So we have actually left the kind of lodge thing for a second and that is because we have actually come out to go, apparently there's like a shop thing around here, so we have actually come out to try and get some kind of bacon or something for breakfast tomorrow aren't we? <laughs> James is like well, why are you vlogging to let them know you're going to go and get bacon but I was like they might be interested <laughs> to let them know that we are actually going to the shop so I'll update you and let you know if we actually grab anything from the shop while we are actually there Hi Mr Lyons with your bag and you're very excited about our bacon so we actually got bacon and then did you put the things in there as well James got some biscuits we got these ones um, which are chip, oh no they're not, they're milk and dark chocolate and then you've got a white chocolate brownie one obviously I can't eat these but in case any of you are wondering what James likes to eat and then also we've got some of these we've got a couple of these, we've got four I think um, just to kind of, something to do really could win a quarter of a million pounds so I mean they've got to be worth a little go haven't they while we were away and all that so we got them and then we got a random euro millions ticket which fell on the floor i'm not going to show you our numbers in case we're lucky but yeah they are basically everything that we got from the shop so as you can all probably tell now i have actually got changed i don't know if you can really tell or not but i have i have actually just got a black roll neck jumper on and my burberry scarf my house of cb coat some top shop jamie jeans as per and then some just my short wiseman boots really and then james john do a little ootn as soon as it's of the night um, got a ralph lauren jumper on some next jeans and some shoes from I can't remember where <laughs> so we are basically on our way we're gonna go oh we're gonna go and have some dinner and then fell over then we're gonna go and have some dinner we have got changed and had a few drinks but yeah we're gonna go and hopefully soak some of this alcohol up and have a few more alcoholic beverages as soon as we are actually away for a few days so I mean why not but yeah I'll show you the food that we get while we're actually there not entirely sure what we are gonna get tonight but yeah I'll show you if I get anyway, hey, all right then, so we will see you in a bit. Now, I'm really sorry, I did say I'll show you my food before I started eating, but I've already demolished quite a few of the chips. So I basically got burger and chips and a bit of coleslaw. I have also got a ponce martini, just because, I mean, why the hell not? James got a beer and then he did actually also get, is that cotton chips? Chips. fish and chips cotton chips same type of thing so he just got um the fish chips peas and coleslaw as well and yeah we are just tucking into this sorry i forgot to show you beforehand but i mean i was just so hungry that i dived straight in but yeah this is basically what we are eating now so it is actually the morning now everyone and james is coming to just wake me up because it is my birthday oh my god look what you've done oh my god it looks so cool look at all the balloons the banners 
Oh my god, sorry, I'm not showing my face or anything, but I probably look a bit rough this morning. So I'm going to sit down and open all of these. Thanks for that. I'm going to sit down and open all of these and then I'll check in with you when I'm looking a little bit more human, but it's my birthday, everyone. So we have actually come out now and as you can see, we are surrounded by a greenery. What do you reckon here? In that way? Right then, brave, bold move. You don't reckon, do you? you're not sure so anyway we have actually come out we are actually on a walk today it's my birthday as you could have probably told or told or as i probably told you this morning and basically we or i open my presents from james which i actually Hello. got super super lucky for and um, honestly it got me so much but yeah and honestly i'm wearing some of it now but yeah so we are actually on a walk at the moment we are going to try and find apparently there's like a nice little picture place um, at like the end of the walk so we're gonna try and get there I mean if you follow me over on Instagram you may have already seen it but yeah we just thought today let's get out go for a little walk stretch our legs quite a bit sorry I'm like walking where I'm going because I don't want to fall over at the moment um, so yeah we thought we'd come out for a bit and yeah I'll bring you on the walk with us so we have arrived at the top of the hill on our walk and oh my god look at the background this is the kind of heart thing that we was on about on the way here but James honestly thrilled that we have made it all the way up to the top it was a big hill that we walked up just a second ago wasn't it yeah <laughs> it was massive honestly it's actually all like oh no it's all right now but when we were talking along he was like oh my little quads are hurting biggest hill I've ever seen literally it was like so Everest. high but you can probably tell from the background I'll quickly show you um that the hill it is all the hill is actually quite big i'm going to be careful not to fall over while i show you this but look at the view it's so kind of cool i don't really know if you can see on camera but down there there's some sheep and over there as well we're debating whether they were sheep or deer cows. or cows <laughs> anything or the other but yeah there's some cows down there i don't really know if you can see and over there there is sheep just roaming about freely and then you can probably tell as well there's like a little river thing that runs through but yeah this is literally the view from the top of good friday's hill with the little heart and james very gentlemanly carrying my coat because i got too hot and he was like before we left he was like it's freezing bring a coat so i brought a coat and now it's not even that bad but yeah i'll probably put it on again in a second if i get a little bit chilly but yeah this is the kind of view guys and we did all this all before 10 past 11 it's seven minutes past 11 right now so yeah this is a view at the top so we did actually get back from our walk and we basically decided i'll turn that down for a second so we basically did get back from our walk and we decided to go to sandbank for the afternoon now if any of you don't know where that is or where that is it's basically on the south coast and we basically heard of it because apparently harry harry redknapp even has a house there and so apparently it's been a bit quite nice we thought you know what we'll go down there for the afternoon just see what that's about it says that we've got like a 27 minute drive left um so we basically got back from our walk jumped in the car grabbed some snacks we've got some onion rings and yeah we thought we'd head there so that is where we're going now guys sorry if this isn't very like continuous kind of thing but i mean i'm literally just showing you what we're getting up to and remembering to vlog when we can so yeah that is basically where we're off to and we will show you where we are when we basically get there hopefully you can hear this through the wind but oh my god how pretty is this we've literally just got here we literally parked in the car park just through that bit there but how pretty is this? I really hope you can hear this just because of the wind. It's so sandy. Obviously, it's called sandbags, but like, how pretty is this beach? So cool, isn't it? So cool. That's Literally. Cool. The sun's out. It's actually quite chilly, so I've got my coat on. Yeah, oh my god. It's so pretty. We've literally just walked around the corner a bit. We've come across this sandbanks beach gap. So we're going to go in here and try and grab some lunch. So come along. So we've decided to sit outside at the kind of Sandbanks cafe place that I was chatting to you about. I have got a soya latte, I've got a portion of chips and I also got a gluten free, dairy free kind of chocolate brownie. It actually looks really really nice, I'm excited to eat that after I've had my chips. And then James got, did you get a tuna baguette? Tuna baguette. Tuna baguette, he got, what was your cake? Uh, Victoria sponge. A Victoria sponge and just an English cup of tea and a little bit of milk really. So we're gonna, <laughs> what cup of tea would you say it was? English cup of tea, yeah. It is an English As cup of tea, isn't it? As opposed to those French and Spanish <laughs> cups of tea. Well, you never know. So we're gonna tuck into these while we've got a nice little view looking out. It's not too breezy while we're sitting down. You probably hear it in the background maybe. But yeah, we're gonna tuck into these now. I'll check in with you once we've eaten. So the sun has literally just gone behind a little cloud up there, but once it comes back out, it'll be all right. 
but we have literally finished our cakes and our chips and James's to get and it was actually really really nice we really enjoyed sitting here so he went and got me another um, soya latte and you just got another cup of tea didn't you? Yeah. So we're just going to sit here, English tea girl. So we're just going to sit here, enjoy these and hopefully the little cloud up there is going to just hurry along a little bit and then the sun will come back out while we're sitting here. Hopefully you can actually hear this but we have actually finished our nice little coffee didn't we? In that kind of cafe bit behind us. I don't really know if you can see or not but the cloud behind us is starting to get really kind of rainy it looks like it's going to absolutely pour down in a minute so we thought you know what let's go for a quick little walk along and head back to the car because i mean i feel like we've got about a half hour back hopefully you can really get it oh my god i hope you can hear this but yeah no james is looking at me like what the hell but i know from previous experience that sometimes when it's really windy you can't actually hear this that well but yeah we are going to head back to the car now and drive it back we have said that maybe on a Friday because today is actually Wednesday and it's my birthday but anyway on a Friday we are actually thinking about coming back down here and maybe playing a mini golf or something um, but today we are going to start heading back because we have got a birthday dinner booked for this evening at is it 6 p.m. 5 30 something like that so we are actually just going to head back and get changed and yeah just chill for a bit because like I said it is actually like a 35 40 ish minute car ride back so yeah I'll speak to you when we're back at the lodge so we have actually just got back to the kind of lodge we are at say just we've been a back a little while now but i thought you know what? i'm gonna check in with you again and let you all know that we have actually got back and i have actually got changed as well i've still got the same top on but i've literally just put some joggers on just to be super super comfy while we chill for about half hour before we go and get ready for tonight james is literally just lying there chilling on his phone he's got changed as well into some shorts and just a little t-shirt just to be super super comfy as well with just to kind of lay about but yeah we're literally like i said just going to chill for a bit we did actually pick up some cards like a pack of um playing cards while we was out and about today because we thought you know what we might as well kind of have a little bit of a couple of card games if that makes sense while we're just chilling here for a bit but yeah we're gonna have a few drinks tonight because i mean we might as well seen as it is my birthday don't want to keep going on about it or anything but it's quite exciting <laughs> James is just sitting there just like really gonna keep 10 of one it's your birthday but I mean why not and all that I mean if you didn't know I'm 25 today quarter of a century and all that but yeah so we are actually just gonna chill for a bit and then yeah I'll show you the dinner um once we actually go out and I'll probably show you what I'm wearing as well for tonight just because I mean why not but yeah I'll check in with you in a little bit so it is obviously a few hours later now and we are all ready to go out I might get James actually to quickly film my OOTN outfit of the night just because I feel like it would be slightly easier for you all to be able to see. You got it? So, oh, nearly falling over my trainer. So, my little outfit of the night is I have actually got a House of CB bodysuit on in case any of you are wondering. This is actually one of the presents that James actually got me for my birthday. Really, really nice. I love it. And then I have actually got some Topshop Mum jeans on, some Valentino heels. And then I've also just got a Gucci belt, classic, good old little accessory. And then I've also just got my little Gucci bag as well. So yeah, that is my little OOTD, no, OOTN outfit of the night. That is basically what I am wearing tonight, guys. And we are actually going to Albury's, I believe it's called, for dinner tonight, which is basically just like a posher kind of posher. It's like the nicer restaurant that is actually here. So we're going to go there tonight um, for dinner and a few drinks after. So yeah, I'll bring you along and show you what we actually get. I don't really know how much more of today you will probably see because we plan to go and have a few drinks. And then depending on what time we get back, we may actually go in the hot tub again tonight. I don't actually feel like that you saw us go in the hot tub last night just because, I mean, I completely forgot to film and I mean, we was just loving our life really. So yeah, that is basically a little plan for tonight. So I mean, yeah, let's go. I've done it again. I'm really, really sorry. But basically, I've got garlic bread for starter. It's got a gluten-free base. And then they've just added the garlic and the kind of dairy-free butter to it. And then James has actually got, what was it that you got? Spicy meatballs. Spicy meatballs. I'll give you a little closer look. Batter. And then just the batter over there. And then we also ordered some passion fruit martinis. We're not entirely sure if they are passion fruit martinis. It don't really look like it. But they are basically... What we got with, we are just saying they're a different colour, but I mean, they taste similar, but not 100% the same, if I'm honest with you. So, but yeah, they're still nice. So, this is what we've currently got for starters, and these are our first drinks. So, our mains have come out. James is just chucking into his chips, but we basically got another Punsa Martini each. 
and then I basically got, was it like Mediterranean chicken or something? And I asked for chips instead of new potatoes because I mean, I'm not really about the healthy life on my birthday. And then James got, what was the pizza that you got? Three pigs. Three pigs is, just looks like bacon if I'm honest with you. And a few little pepperoni bits, would you say? And then James also got a side of chips just because I mean, we're going all out tonight, but I mean, why not? So yeah, we're gonna tuck into this now. So it is a new day down at the new forest and I know the last time that you probably spoke to me was probably when we was having dinner and if I'm honest with you we literally just had a few drinks and I say I think we had quite a few drinks because I mean it was my birthday night and I just I don't know when I started drinking I just don't really even remember to film if I'm honest with you so we had a few drinks came back we went back into the hot tub outside I think it was in there till about 11 p.m something like that and then yeah it's now the next day so today i think we're just gonna go for a little like wander and try and find somewhere to like, go for a walk or something we don't really know what we want to do all we know is that we want to go back to um sandbanks tomorrow and spend like more time down there um but yeah today we're just gonna go for like a little walk as such we don't really know where we're gonna go from one of you we just want to go and like try and see a little bit more of the local kind of area at the moment i mean whether plans will change or not as the kind of day goes on i don't really know we don't really know what we want to do if i'm honest with you so we're just going to go about and have a little look and see what we come across that is basically the plan for today and in case any of you are wondering i've literally just got on a kind of navy burberry jumper this one i actually got from vista village a couple of years ago so i mean i probably won't be able to find it for you and then to go with it i've literally just got on excuse the mess everywhere honestly just one of them kind of things in it and then to go with that i've literally just got top shop jamie jeans on in black and then i've just got some trainers just to go for a little walk really so yeah that is basically my outfit of the day so yeah come along with us oh we are actually out and about now neither of us have got a coat on because you can probably tell but there is bright blue skies everywhere so we've come on like a little walk i can't remember what this one was called do you Walk, Ashley Walk maybe so we just decided to come for a little stroll around here and I mean hopefully we'll be able to like see some kind of like horses or um, cows or just anything really at this point apart from birds because we've already seen quite a few of them already like just normal birds you know what I mean just like standard pigeon or something like that but yeah hopefully we'll be able to see something a little bit more adventurous than you wouldn't normally see in like a day-to-day -day kind of walk or life in London really so yeah I'll kind of show you anything if we bump into anything exciting really so just around this corner hopefully fingers crossed they still be there yeah they are so basically we've been walking for about half hour maybe 20 minutes something like that just obviously quite slowly but look if I just wait here maybe you'll see but look how like close we are to like wild horses oh my god that's so cool look how pretty they are like the white ones especially they're just so pretty like oh my god this is so cool that one's really pretty as well not saying that the brown coloured ones oh my god look at him with like his little can you see that like rubbing his nose on the little tree oh my god scratching his chin oh that's so cool bless him I don't see that back at home do you oh my god there's some more up here look at James literally right by them I don't want to go near you oh my god that's so cool. You alright matey? Oh my god this one's only tiny compared to the other ones. There's one over there as well. <laughs> oh sad. Look how close we are. Look how close we are to them all. Yeah. That one is actually quite blonde compared to the rest of him isn't it? Or her. Uh, might be a her who knows oh my god this is so cool it's like being on safari in england isn't it yeah. no, it actually is this is literally this is literally like an english version of an african safari you don't get like elephants or anything you get wild horses and sheep hopefully you never know but yeah we saw we saw sheep yesterday actually yeah but you probably saw them but how cool is this oh my god i'm literally such a geek for stuff like this so yeah that is the first little spot of the day hopefully we'll bump into some more along the way and if we do then i'll be sure to let you know hopefully you can hear this through the little breeze that is beginning to blow but yeah if we bump into anything else and then i shall definitely show you all 
we're on our next little kind of stop we've come across some cows we think they are i don't really know if you can see maybe fuzzy when well, i don't really know how close i can get to these they are definitely cows and there's like a little baby one can you see it right there and there's another little one over there that's probably just gone behind the hedge or starting to walk behind the hedge you can probably see but they're literally black cows and then there's one with a white spot on him behind this one over here but how cool this is literally just like the next lot of animals that we are actually seeing on our little walk we think that we're meant to walk through the middle of them and up there but we're not entirely sure if that's wise or not just because we don't know how friendly they are and there is another path this way oh there's another one there as well so you have to you pass see a that? cow to get through you, yeah you're literally going to have to pass a cow to get through maybe right, you might, you might be able to be slightly better like stream a little river thing there. we'd have to go over right so there. from the dark ones do you get chocolate milk and the white ones you get proper milk no you're just oh my god look how cute the little one is oh bless them oh yeah that is the next official animal spot on this little ashley walk we think it's called we'll double check on the way out we've made it but this doesn't even look like a big hill but when you go around that corner it's quite like steep so we've made it to the top well james has made it to the top i'm nearly at the top james is just there but yeah look at the view from up here we literally have no idea how to get back to the car at this point we're just following the little trail round so i mean god knows we think that there's a road up there we're not entirely sure if that's the road that our car's parked on or not i mean our sense of direction definitely isn't the best but i mean look at it up here i mean it does look pretty pretty really doesn't it pretty free it just looks really beautiful really doesn't it with all of like the greenery just surrounded by nature i mean we was literally saying that like the air just feels really like not polluted i'm not even sure if that's going to make sense to a lot of people but we just feel like it's just a lot fresher like getting out and having a fresh air hit you on the face is honestly feels nice if honest with you but yeah james is literally just chilly you can probably see him slightly better now just chilling over there giving you a little wave i don't know if you can say that or not if i'm honest with you my eyesight isn't too great but yeah he's gonna just gonna sit there for a little while maybe snap a picture of the view but yeah hopefully you can hear this through the wind as well but i mean yeah this is literally where we're at at the moment so hopefully you can hear this because the wind has literally just picked up as i've got my camera out but we are on our way back to the car we're trying to find our way back to the car we've come across some cows now we don't feel like that these are 100 percent the cows that we saw earlier i mean they may have been but you just never know do you so these are some cows so we're hoping we're on our way or our white all right sorry i'll right way back it's a little calf bless it oh, it doesn't look that that tiny but it's still a small one but yeah literally come across some cows there is also a river this isn't the river that we crossed we crossed a slightly um shorter one and um, one that wasn't as kind of wide to cross and so now i've got to try and get across this and james has already done it but yeah back to seeing some cows and i mean i feel like maybe i should go down there but then i'm gonna get really muddy so maybe i should just try and walk across this should we see how this goes maybe i'll put the camera away see so yeah, i'll see you on the other side guys and just like that i'm over the other side i didn't want to film and then fall in do you know what i mean it's just been a disaster but i'm across now there's all the cows on that side of the kind of little river thing that is flowing but but yeah we've made it across the other side now hopefully we can find our way back to the car although this does look like it's another hill that we're gonna have to walk up but yeah i'll let you know when i'm back at the car so we have actually made it back to the car park we're back in the car sat down loving our lives aren't we little one yeah we actually are but yeah we're literally on our way to a pub now to go and have some lunch because it's basically lunchtime it's like midday so we're gonna go there now we think it was called the fighting cocks so hopefully they they've got a table or such we kind of pass it on the way back to where we're kind of staying so we think we're going to go in there for lunch and then yeah hopefully it's going to be nice we haven't been in there before on this trip so hopefully fingers crossed the food will be pretty nice really so i'm not entirely sure what we're going to grab but i mean 
oh and we're at the car park so it's probably a little bit more smooth for you now but yeah i'll let you know once we actually get in there what we're gonna get to eat i mean yeah this is literally where we've just walked around so i mean yeah i'll show you the food once we order it we've decided to sit outside at the fighting at cox pub and james has actually got yeah james is a little bit chilly aren't you <laughs> but he basically got a big gulch pudding with sausage mash and beans beans peas even and i got ham egg and chips and a little bit of salad but yeah that is basically what we've got so we're gonna tuck into it and hopefully it's gonna be nice so it's actually quite a few hours later now and do you know what we are actually ready since we got back from lunch we literally just chilled for a bit we both had a little nap just because i mean we was a little bit tired from our country air morning walk really and um, so yeah we are actually ready to go out for dinner we are basically going to go back to the same restaurant that we went to last night just because i mean it was really nice in there so that is where we're going to go again and yeah apparently there's like a um like film on like a big screen thing tonight um it's actually going to be the greatest showman which is showing um so i think we're going to have dinner and then go and see if by the time we finish dinner whether that started or not and just kind of see if we can get any kind of seat around there and then we'll probably watch that and then once we've probably watched that we'll come back and then we fancy going in a little hot tub out there again don't we james yeah Hello just because i mean why wouldn't we so yeah that is basically what is going to happen i'll show you what i'm going to have for dinner tonight i'm thinking do i want the same as i did last night but then is that a bit like should i venture out on the menu a little bit but then i don't want to venture out and then it not kind of be as nice as it was last night if that makes sense is anyone else like that or am i just a bit weird in trying new things yeah, but i mean yeah james just thinks i'm weird so i mean oh well let me know what you think so yeah that is basically what is happening now so yeah come along and i'll show you what we get once we actually get in there so I'm really sorry everyone but I've literally tucked in straight away so I had my Mediterranean chicken again with new potatoes and then we did actually get a portion of chip to share as well and James actually got what was it you got? Carbonara. Carbonara. Sorry we have actually tucked in though but I mean it is really good so far so I mean yeah I'll continue to chuck into it. Chuck into it. I'll continue to tuck into it and hopefully yeah, I'm sure it's gonna continue to be good and James is loving his little carbonara so it is actually a new day again now and basically today is our last full day here and that is because we basically go home tomorrow i don't really know why i said that um but anyway today we're basically going to sandbanks again which is the beach that we went to the other day um we're leaving earlier today so hopefully we'll spend slightly longer there i know that james said um the other day that he wanted to try and play like crazy golf and um, so i'm sure we'll do that at some point as well um but yeah that is basically where we're going today today i've literally just gone a kind of white creamy jumper here's from m and m no not m and m me and m in case any of you um were kind of wondering and so with that i've just put on my top shop mum jeans and then on my feet i don't really know if you could see that or not but i've basically got some todd did i show you there you go you definitely saw that done but basically got some todd um shoes on my feet um so that is basically what i'm wearing today guys so i mean yeah let's go to sandbanks and i hope you enjoy the last full day that we're here we've arrived at sandbanks and oh my god look how much of a lovely day it is like literally there's hardly any clouds in the sky whatsoever it's so blue it's just so nice here it's such a sandy beach it's literally it's such a sandy beach it's so pretty we have actually walked for quite a bit now we're around the other side of the bay this side doesn't have any kind of like sand or pebbles in but look how kind of clear the water is hopefully you can actually see that but that is super super clear water there's james just sitting on the wall checking in checking in checking out the view but yeah the water is so clear here so we've actually come for lunch along the kind of seafront as such we're actually in the same restaurant that we was in last time we was here but james this time has got a fish and a chip he's just got a cup of tea and then our cakes are over there for after we've basically got exactly the same cakes as we did last time we're really really lucky with the weather still it's still absolutely beautiful out we have actually finished having lunch we dropped our coats off back to the car and we are actually on our way to go and play mini golf now which james is giving all the big talk thinking he's gonna win oh yeah he's picking out all the big talk but i mean yeah let's go and see who wins so we have just finished our game of crazy girl didn't actually feel anything in there you might have seen a little sneak peek over on my insta if you follow me over there but i mean i'm ashamed well not ashamed because i tried my best and all that i won the first half of the course didn't i james won the first half i was seven ahead then 
the last six. It seemed to get a bit harder as it was going round. I was a bit sneaky like that, but I was winning by seven just to make it a little bit. <laughs> I, was, I was clear of Jones by seven whole points. And then it all went a bit like pear shaped because, I mean, they ended up beating me. But I'm just going to claim that he's the one that owns the golf clubs he like he plays golf when he's at home we're back at the car now in case any of you are wondering but oh, just nearly knocked you out knocked it them far james does own a pair of golf clubs so i thought well, do you know what a pair of golf clubs one of two <laughs> no he's got like a whole sack thing <laughs> just stop <laughs> so i thought do you know what it's gonna be a little bit embarrassing for him if he plays golf like normally and then uh, I beat him, so I thought, you know, I'm going to be kind here. Cruel to be kind and all that. And I'm I'll gonna cut to you, him. Katie lost. <laughs> and I'm going to let him win. Katie so lost. he pulled him back. And how many did how many did you beat me by in the end? Seven or eight. It wasn't. <laughs> eight? <laughs> I've got a hair on my tongue. <laughs> but yeah, he ended up with 52 and I got 53. Yeah, so know. he beat me by one, but I thought, you know what? Let's just give it to him, otherwise I'm never going to hear the end of it. So yeah, we're back at the car now, guys, because our ticket nearly expired after all that dramatic thing. After all that dramaticness, oh, nearly that expired. Drama. After all that drama, we nearly had an expired ticket and we didn't really want to fly it. So we rushed back to the car. So yeah, that is the latest. And we're going to head back to the kind of lodge thing now. So it's actually a couple of hours later now. I feel like the last time that I probably spoke to you was when we was in the car once we rushed back. Um, when we use that sandbanks um but basically now it is dinner time so we are going to head out for dinner we've been back chilling for probably about an hour or so and yeah we're going to go out for dinner i haven't got changed tonight i'm literally wearing exactly the same thing as i was earlier just because i mean i feel like it's like an acceptable dinner kind of outfit plus i mean i just was quite comfy in what i was wearing really especially because i haven't put anything down all day so i thought why not i might as well it seems it is the last night that we are actually here so yeah that is where we're gonna go we're gonna go to woodside tonight which is basically the restaurant that we went to on the first night that we was here so i'll show you the food what we get once we actually get there but yeah that is where we're going tonight guys and hope you enjoy the last little bit of this vlog and just like that another trip is over i mean sorry i forgot to show you the kind of snacks and stuff that i did actually um pick up not snacks the food that we actually got last night there was a bit of an issue but i mean yeah i forgot to show you so i mean the last clip you probably saw was probably us saying that i'd show you the snacks snacks i don't know why i keep saying that it's because we've literally packed our snacks for the card ride home but basically i forgot to show you the dinner last night and um, i am just putting the camera in front of my face because i mean i look rough this morning i'm not gonna even trying tonight i've literally got no makeup on my head it's just chucked up at the top of my head so yeah that is basically the end of the trip guys i really do hope you enjoyed coming towards the towards to the new forest with us i know there wasn't probably that much food that you got to probably see before we even started eating it or forgot to kind of show you it but yeah that is basically all for this kind of mini breakaway kind of holiday vlog so yeah if you have enjoyed it then please be sure to give this video a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already but yeah that is basically all for today guys so until next time see ya mm -hmm.